Oh, oh Hamlin. Eddie, teammates, Denny Hamlin and Tony Stewart. Stewart, who was going for his third straight win. Oh, there's no wreck, and there's Junior. It's what Kyle talked about on the pre-race show. There's one wreck, and then there's the follow-up wreck. And Junior is in it. Rick Sorensen also in it. And that's a perfect example of the wreck being at absolute at the front of the pack. Well, I don't the front end very much, though. And people behind them trying to avoid them running over each other. Well, as you can see, Stewart had no place to go. He had no time to even react. Denny Hamlin, last week's winner. Steering wheel off. See, 11 cars. Stewart's got a really good run. It just it looked like he got in the back of the 11 car, Kyle. Yeah, that, that, that wasn't an arrow loose. That was a touch. As a car owner, that is a nightmare come to life. nightmare, exactly. And see, these guys back here, like I was talking about, everybody's checking up and they got no place to go. On board with Tony Stewart. Definitely contact there. They just, you know, he had a good run. You know, that's when you're making when you're making time up on a guy like that. You know, sometimes when you're coming up on him, especially in the corner, you'll get that guy loose. And Hamlin may have had to lift just a little bit because Tony Stewart got him loose to begin with. But still, in the end result, he hit him. And and you don't expect somebody to lift that late up off a corner either. Now I'm uh, I'm going to give Tony the benefit of the doubt on that. One. Once you get out that far. You figure you got 15, 20 feet to catch it if it jumps out from under you. It's not going to go all the way to the top of the racetrack. Look how many cars are on pit road over here to the right. Look how many cars just came down pit road, locked it down, and came down pit road. You can come down pit road. You must make an attempt to reduce your speed. You can also go below that yellow line, which is out of bounds normally, but you can go below it to avoid the wreck. Matt Kenseth through the grass, break Biffle through the grass. The 20 is into the pit road here, and they're thinking now they're going to probably have to go to the garage. They've got heavy damage to the left front of this car. They've got the right side of the car jacked up. There's heavy damage over there as well. This car is going to have to have a lot of work done to it, Marty. You see them trying to bang out that damage on the right rear. There's also more significant damage on the left front of the race car, right behind that left front wheel. They're going to have to work on that as well. They're trying to get the right side fixed here first you see them working on that damage they'll put on right side tires send him back out and the next time they would like to come and work on the left side but you can see that right rear significantly wrinkled up on the Budweiser Chevrolet it's gonna take a lot of work to get that car raceable once again nice Marty stay with him down there Th that this is at the back of, of Junior's car you see he in front of you, go, low, go low go low go low oh and that's what happened somebody drilled the 43 car Bobby Labonte and ran into Junior the 11 car decided to stop for some reason right in the middle of turn four so uh, I'm sure he was getting tight because he had, for three laps in a row we were catching through the center and the exit of the corner and uh, all of a sudden he just stops on the exit of four in front of 42 cars and I guess expects all of us to drive around him so uh, I don't know. He tore up two really good race cars. He tried to crash us on Friday in practice and didn't get it done, so at least he finished it off today. Has there been some difficulty between the two of you? No. He just, I mean, he's a young guy and he wants to be successful, but uh, I, I don't know if he knows what the definition of team is right now. I'm looking out of the front windshield and uh, it's just uh, it, the car is starting to lose its handle there, uh, as was a lot of uh, a lot of cars. But uh, you know, myself, I you know, I really didn't slow up, you know, any more than I had you know a lot before. But I think he was just a little bit closer than what he had been in the previous laps and uh, got into us. It's uh, it's not too big of a deal, I don't reckon.